welcome everyone to another episode of Reese's Roundup. I am your host, the Lightning Kid himself, and today, round two, the divisional round is now underway. I was not expecting, I was not expecting the Bills or the Saints to lose. And I go into more detail about it in my podcast, my Reese's Roundup podcast that you can listen to on Spotify and Apple Music every Tuesday and Thursday. So make sure you guys go check that out and support the Reese's Roundup. Now, on to the divisional round. Let's just jump into it because this is going to be blowout city for, for both the AFC and NFC games. I mean... The Texans didn't deserve to, to make it, and it's not going to be a competition against the against the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, the Titans don't stand a chance against the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, the Seahawks don't definitely aren't going to beat the Green Bay Packers. And maybe the Vikings will have a close battle with the San Francisco 49ers, but I don't see it happening. I don't see them winning either. So, starting with the Titans uh, against the Ravens. Like I said, I'm picking the Ravens. Um, they are undoubtedly and unarguably the best team in football. They have a really well-established running game, not only with Mark Ingram, but with Lamar Jackson. I mean, that guy, he got over well over a 1,000 rushing yards um, as a quarterback. Yeah, the Titans' defense really just doesn't stand a chance against that powerhouse of an offense, both in play action, running, run pass option. Like, the the Ravens just have a really good, well-balanced offense. Um, And their defense is no joke either. They're one of the top teams in both um, passing and run defense. So, good luck to Tennessee with having, you know, Derrick Henry. Now, if Tennessee does want to win this ball game, they cannot, and I can't stress this enough, they cannot let Derrick Henry have the whole workload like he did against the New England Patriots. Now, against the Patriots, obviously, they have a really, really good secondary, and their their front line is eh. But the Ravens have really good everything on defense. I don't think Derrick Henry will be as dominant um, against the Ravens as he did, as he was against the um, New England Patriots. So if they plan on winning this game, they got to trust Ryan Tannehill. The guy had like nine pass attempts in, in that game. So if they want to succeed against Baltimore and upset the entire, or shock the whole world, they have to get Ryan Tannehill involved. They have to do a lot of play action. They have, they do have to get Derrick Henry involved, no doubt about it. But they can't rely 70% of their offense on Derrick Henry like he was used uh, in that Patriots game. That's the only way I see it. They just have to catch the, the, um, the Ravens completely off guard in this game and just do everything that that they weren't planning um or that the ravens weren't expecting them to do in this game next you got the kansas city chiefs against the houston texans now like i said i picked the kansas city chiefs to win this game and that's because they have one of the best offenses in football patrick mahomes is still balling out tyreek hill is still a speed demon they have a really good run game i mean they just have are a really, really solid offense. And that Texans defense is not going to be prepared for it. Now, against Buffalo, the Texans defense looked okay, but it was because it was Buffalo. The Bills don't have any sort of outstanding offense to their name. So if they plan on winning this game, they're going to have to absolutely destroy the Kansas City Chiefs defense. Now, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. The Texans really, really put on a show against the Bills defense, who were one of the best defenses in NF- in the NFL this season. The Chiefs, they don't really have that. <laughs> um, so if they do play, if the, if the Texans can pull off this upset, Deshaun Watson is going to have to have a magnificent game from start to finish. He can't have this second half 
hoorah against a, a, a powerhouse. He's not going to be able to come from behind down 16 because they won't be down 16 to nothing by the third quarter. That Kansas City offense will put up 35 by the third quarter if the Texans don't step up their game. So they have to keep it neck and neck for the entire game. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So I, I just think with all those factors, uh, the Chiefs just have the better option uh, or the better chance of winning this game. Next, we got probably the best game going into this divisional round. The Vikings versus the 49ers. Now I'm picking the 49ers because they're just a better overall team the vikings were able to beat the saints but that doesn't really say much because the saints don't really have as good as a defense as the uh 49ers do the 49ers have probably the top passing defense in the league um and don't even think about running with dalvin cook you know 100 percent of the time because they're gonna shut him down real quick as well they also have home field advantage, and on top of that, they're well rested. The Vikings went into overtime last week against the New Orleans Saints, and now they have to fly almost all the way across the world to California to, to get ready uh, in less than a week against the San Francisco 49ers. So I just, I really just don't see them um, prepared to face what's about to come with San Francisco. And I honestly, I trust Jimmy Garoppolo more than I trust Kirk Cousins. Now, Kirk Cousins does have a much better, um, more, more weapons than Garoppolo does. But what we've seen from Jimmy G this season, offensive wise with Emmanuel Sanders and whoever the hell else they have, um, it's it's been, it's been pretty, it's been pretty. Um, they've really utilized Garoppolo well um, coaching wise, they just, they just, uh, everything about San Francisco just makes them the better team. Like they're just going to come out on top in this game. That's how I see it. Um, the Saints, they just, they were just offensive weapons. You know, they were just good offensively, not too good defensively. And the Vikings can kill teams with their offense, can kill defenses with their offense. I just... With, with with the way the 49ers play defensively and offensively, I, I think it's gonna be a tough a tough time for um for Minnesota. Next we got the Seahawks versus the Green Bay Packers. I'm gonna go with the Packers in this game. Um they're a well-rounded team again on offense and defense. They've really improved defensively this season, uh Green Bay. That's what they've really been lacking was a run game and defense. And they really got that this season, not only with the new coach, Matt Lefleur, but with with uh, with Aaron Jones, with um, Eddie Jackson, they've really just stepped up. They are second best in the league in fewest turnovers, and they're seventh in the league in forced turnovers. So that just really goes to show how well they play offensively and defensively. But if the if the Packers want to win, they really, really, really have to let Aaron Rodgers um, prove himself. Aaron Rodgers needs to step it up in this game. He's lost way too many playoff games for, for a guy that's, you know, arguably one of the best well-rounded quarterbacks of all time you, you, you can't you can't lose all these playoff games especially to my Cardinals um, as many times as he has and lived to say that you're the best or one of the best it just can't happen so they need to beat C he himself needs to beat Seattle if he wants to prove how good he really is um, and they also have to establish a running game with Aaron Jones he is probably the most underrated running back in this league right now he had a really good season he really let um let off a lot of pressure from aaron Rodgers in the passing game with his running game so if they can really establish the run i know they got Jadavion Clowney at the front um who really likes to hurt people <laughs> so we'll see how it goes but I'm, I'm picking green bay in this one but if the seahawks want to win russell wilson needs to be russell wilson um, he's having the best season of his career in a touchdown to interception ratio in passing yards completion percentage this guy is balling out and had it been had it not been for Lamar Jackson having an equally as good season I would pick Russell Wilson for MVP but 
that's just it is what it is i mean russell wilson needs to just absolutely go to town on the green bay packers now like i said the packers do have a really good defense this season now but russell wilson has has beaten really good defenses before i mean he took the 49ers out he's taken out other teams before and on top of that the seahawks are eight and one eight and one on the road this season so like i said they have what it takes but I just think the Packers are just going to be the better team. But let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comment section on who you see moving on to the championship round. And let me know what you guys want to see for the next video. And listen to my podcast every Tuesday and Thursday. The Reese's Roundup Podcast. You can find it on Spotify. And I will see you guys next week. I'm out. Peace.